Did you know that you can use Python scripts in Tableau? Well, that's true. You can use it in Tableau calculated fields to take your analytics to next level by leveraging Python machine learning capabilities. So in today's tutorial, we are going to learn about how to use Tableau analytics extension. And for this tutorial, I will connect a TabPy extension that integrates Python into Tableau calculation using TabPy, which is none other than Tableau Python server. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. Welcome back, this is Kurpreet from Dataverse Canvas. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please do so, so you stay up to date with all of my videos. Thank you. So let's start with our dashboard where I have used environmental data set where I'm showing the temperature, humidity, air quality index, population density, and so on. And I'm trying to create the correlation coefficient and the p-value to understand the correlation between temperature and humidity for this example. And for this, I have used TabPy extension where I am using Python script to generate the correlation coefficient and the p-value. So let's see how we can do that. So let's open our new Tableau desktop. And first of all, let's try to connect to the analytics extension. So before that, let me disable all the terminals which I already have which have my Python running. And before even we start that, if you haven't seen my previous tutorial on how to install Python on Mac, then please do so by clicking on the link above. And once you have done that, then we can go to this tab where we can then install the tab Pi. But before we do that, let's see in our tablet desktop how we can connect to analytic extension. So first of all, we will go to help section of tablet desktop and then go to settings and performance. And from here, you will see Manage extension, Analytics Extension Connection. Click on that. So you can see, because I was already connected to Tab by extension, so it is taking me there. So I will just disconnect that and disable it, and I will go back. And here you will see, this is the actual window which will pop up when you click on that. So let's, let's try again. So let's go to Help, Setting and Performance, Manage Analytics Extension. And you will see four extensions here. The first one will be the TabPy, which integrates Python into tab Tableau calculation. Second one is Einstein Discovery. Then we have RServe, which integrates R into Tableau calculation using RServe, which is an open source R server. And then if you have any other extensions which you want to connect with Tableau, then you can use this extension. But for today's tutorial, I'll be using tab by extension. So I will click on that. And once you do that, this window will open where you have to put the host name and the port. And if you have username and password, then you do that and connect to that extension. So for today's tutorial, I have installed Python on my machine. So I will be using localhost and port I will be using 9004. But when I connect to this one, or when I try to test the connection, it will give me an error because I haven't started the TabPy server. So how we can do that? So for that, we have to go to the terminal, so which I already have it open. So let me completely quit it. And then we can either go from the launch pad and in here we have, we go into the other section and click on terminal. And once you do that, the terminal will open. And here, as I have already installed Python, so here I will simply check the version of pip. And you can see there was a syntax error. So version, and you can see it's 24.3.1 version. And here I can update the pip if you are on the older version. So pip install upgrade pip and it will upgrade the pip library if you are using the old one. And once you have done that, you have to install tabpy. So you can say pip install tabpy, and it will install that server. And then once that server is installed, which in this case, I already had it done before as well, but 
this is how you install the tab pi and once you do that you have to start the tab pi by just typing in tab pi and enter and once you do that it will ask you do you wish to proceed proceed without authentication as it is my local host on my local machine so i will do yes but i would highly recommend if you are using a hosted service then definitely use username and password for security reasons so once you do that you will see the web service listening on port 9004 so that you can see that tab pi is running so you can go here as well and you can type in localhost and 9004 to see that tab pi server is running and if you have deployed any models on your server then it will populate here but in today's tutorial i haven't deployed any models but you can see that tab pi server is online so now let's go back to here and once we put that information here now when you test the connection it will say successfully connected to the analytic extension then you click ok and save that connection and then close this window so now we are going to use our data set on environment which looks something like this where i have the date range the temperature on those dates humidity wind speed, air quality, and population. And using this data set, I'm trying to find the correlation between temperature and humidity. So let's see how we can do that. So first of all, I will connect to the data set and it is a CSV file on my desktop. So I will connect it, extract the data here, save it and replace it with the new one. And here I will bring the date into the root shell and let's let's try to create a table here so i want to see the exact date and the discrete value so i will select that and i will bring all the measure names to the column and actually let's let's bring all the measure values and you can see here all the measure values are populated here and let's adjust temperature and humidity let's do it together which we want to see the correlation uh, we can keep the other ones but in this case i will remove the other ones just to show you how the correlation will work between these two fields now how we can create the correlation coefficient using the calculation but before we jump into that i want to talk about script functions so if we go into the calculated field and if we go to table calculation you can see here script functions so we'll be using these script functions to run the python code using calculated field so there are four script functions so script boolean which basically returns the boolean expression from these analytics extension and these script functions can be used for all four analytics extension so you can see here it can be used in the einstein discovery r script python script and even your normal one which you create customized extensions as well then we have script int so this will return the results in the form of an integer and then script real will return the result in the form of float value and then the last is the script string which will return the result in the form of script so in this scenario we want the correlation coefficient so we will be using the real value because we want it in the decimal numbers so i will type in correlation coefficient and will type in the formula so it will start from script real and let's let let's copy it from our previous value so correlation coefficient and i will edit that and let's copy this one and let's go into the other section and we will put it here so what does it do so it's a script real function we are using which represents the outcome will be returned in the form of a decimal value of float value and then we have to import the libraries so in this case scipy stats and then we are saying return scipy stats dot personor and then these are the arguments which we have to pass in this scenario so you can pass multiple arguments or parameters based on your function or the requirements so but for correlation coefficient we'll be passing two parameters or two arguments 
and those two parameters or arguments in this case will be temperature and humidity and we have to make sure that while passing these arguments it has to be aggregated so these values i am aggregating it as a sum but if we are using a script function with text or string outcome then we can use the attribute aggregation function so once we do that let's click ok and same way let's do the p-value so similarly let's copy the p-value formula and we paste it here and you can see the p-value calculation works the same way we are using the script real and using the python script by importing the libraries and returning the p-value so let's bring these correlation coefficient and p-value here and you can see here the correlation is in the negative value so if the correlation value is a negative correlation where the one variable tends to increase when the other variable decreases so in this case you can see it's easily that the correlation is negative 0 0.03 which says that if the temperature is high the humidity will be less or if the temperature is low the humidity will be high so it's inversely proportional and now let's look at the p-value so in this case you can see the p-value is 0.32 so which indicates that there is no random chance and this negative correlation quantifies the strength of this linear relationship between temperature and humidity so that's how you can use python scripts in tableau calculation to do a lot of statistical analysis in tableau you can also plot a chart between temperature and humidity and you can bring the date into details mark and change it to exact date and you can see here the correlation between temperature and humidity and you can bring the correlation coefficient and p-value into the tooltip and make sure they are computed using that date value as these are the table calculation um, so we have to make sure the computation is accurate and when you hover over to this one you can see the correlation coefficient along the date and the p-value how it is i hope you guys enjoyed this session and if you have any questions about how to use analytics extension in tableau then feel free to reach out by commenting in the section below thank you